Hi and welcome to another WordPress tutorial from Peacemake TV. In this week's video, we're going to be taking a look at some more design related setup and configuration to give you a little bit more of a unique look to your WordPress website. Now, one of the things you'll notice if you develop websites around WordPress is that the login page is the same on everything and it all kind of just looks a little bit samey. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you how we can use Ocean WP and how we can use that in conjunction with Elementor Pro to create our own custom login page and also control exactly how that works, where it goes, what page is used and so on. So if you'd like to get a little bit more creative with your WordPress login pages, stick around, check out how to do it with this video. So this is the style login page we're going to be creating using Elementor Pro. You can see we've got a nice simple layout on the left hand side that allows us to sign in all the normal things you'd expect on a WordPress login page, but it doesn't look like it's set up in WordPress. So first things first, we're going to create that. Then we're going to take a look at how we can link that into Ocean WP to create a really simple streamlined interface for creating and setting up our login pages. So let's just jump over into WordPress itself. So I'm going to close this down. So this is the page that we're working on. So you can see this is the website. It's one of my other websites. And what I wanted to do was create that consistent look. So we're using the same images we've got in the header on the home page just to create that consistency. If we take a look at the top right hand side, you can see I've got the option to log in. And if you're logged in, this will swap over to the log out option. So it's a nice simple way of doing that. Okay, so let's just jump over to the admin of our WordPress site into the dashboard and come down to pages and just say create a new one. Now this is going to be the basis for our new sign in page. So let's just call this sign in. That's fine. We're going to set the default template to be the Elementor canvas because I don't want anything like the navigation of the footer, any of that to show up. I want all that taken off. We're going to come in and we're going to set this up to be 100% full width and disable any margins on there. So we'll click on publish on that. Once that's published, we can then just jump into Elementor and start creating the actual page layout itself. We're going to keep this pretty simple, but obviously you can get as creative as you want, just making sure that obviously all the basic functions we need to log in are all set up in there. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to create that simple two-column layout. So we're going to create a simple add new section, we'll set this up to be two columns. We're going to choose this option, which is one-third, two-third. You can fine-tune this if you want to. We're then going to select this row and we're going to set this to stretch and set this to be full width. We want this to sort of encompass the entire page no matter what. Next thing we're going to do is drop in the sign in form. So let's just search for the login form. So you've got login. So that now creates the basic login form for logging into the admin or whatever we want to set it up for inside WordPress. So we can go through and we can configure some of this, but before we do that, let's go and set the page up to look the way we want. Then we can come in and fine tune this to make sure it does exactly what we want and where we want it to go. So let's just set our background image. So we're gonna select the entire section, come up to style, and we're gonna come down and choose classic. And from there, we're just gonna simply go and choose an image that I wanna work with. I'm gonna choose the one that I've used on the website itself so insert the media you can see that now inserts that in there for us next thing you want to do is just select this left hand column and we're going to set a background color on there so again come to style come down to background and we're going to set a color for this one so we're going to set this to be black and we're going to set the transparency to whatever kind of looks good with the photograph or the image that you're using to make sure that everything can be seen the way you want Okay, so there's the basics of that. We're also going to do a simple thing like put a border line down on the one side. So we're going to put a solid line, set this to be on the right hand side and two pixels, and we'll set the color of that to be white. So we have this nice simple key line down the right hand side of our login section. Next up, let's just make sure we click on this, come up and Ooh, let's do it again. Come to the advanced section and making sure that we've got no margin set on there. We'll zero out any padding at the moment just to make sure that there's nothing on there whatsoever. And if you're wondering why or how we actually get this to sort of spread out and give us the entire full page height, there's an easy trick you can use on that. Come back over to all the widgets and we want to use the spacer option. We're going to simply drag that over to the right hand side, the right hand column. That puts a spacer element in there and we can now set that to whatever we want. Now obviously it's entirely up to you how far you go with this. I'm just going to set this to something like 1080. So it works good on your typical 920 by 1080 screen. You can see we're getting some repetition going on there. So we need to deal with that. So all we need to do is come up, click on this row again, 
come back to our style and then we can go through and set up the basics for this image so position we're going to leave it to be center left and what we're going to do is we're going to say we want no repeat and size we're going to set to cover so that now gives us the full screen image if we take this over from the left hand side you can see we've got no margins or anything around there what we do have is that this login section on the left hand side is a little bit sort of flush so let's deal with that next all we're going to do is click to activate this right hand call actually this left hand column come to advanced what we can do on there is we can just set up some padding now it's up to you you can use a pixel value if you want to if you want to be specific about exactly what's going in there or you can use a percentage value to make sure that as the screen sizes change that's compensated for i'm just going to keep it really simple i'm going to set a 50 pixel padding all the way around the inside of that that now means that when we push this over we've got some separation there the other thing i want to do is just change the size of this particular column so we're going to make this just a little bit smaller we're going to set this to about 25 percent now obviously you can configure this based upon the device that you're using and if i want to be really specific and come into here and i can set this to be 25 so you can see that's done exactly what we need on there again like i say if we want to come in and change this based upon the device so we can say well if we're going to be dealing with a tablet we might want to set this to be about 50 percent and if we deal with a mobile phone we can set this to be 100 percent so entirely up to you how you want to deal with that but that's a simple and easy way of setting things up on there so there's the basics of our page setup let's just update that to make sure we've got everything saved before we move on to the next stage which is now configuring the actual login form and adjusting some of the styling on that as well so let's select our sign in widget we can now go through and choose do we want to show labels we can turn those on and off if we want to. We can set the input size, anything we want to do on here to configure it. So I'm just going to go through quickly and just change some of the things. Let's just put our login button to be full width on there. We'll set this to be medium. We'll change this from login to sign in. And what we can do now is if we come up to additional options, you can see we've got the option to redirect after login, which is something we're going to say, yes, we want to do that. So we'll click OK on there. We'll jump back in a moment and put the link into where this actually logs us into. But for now, we'll just leave that as is. Jump over to our style section. What we're going to do is come down to our labels. We're going to set these to be white so they stand out off there. And if we want to, we can adjust the typography to make sure it all fits in and looks exactly as we want. We can come to the fields if you want to on there. We can change the text color, the background color, whatever you kind of want to do to make this look how you want it to look. So I'm going to take, for example, I don't want... A border on there so we're just going to zero that out border radius zero that out as well so we get nice simple squares come back over to our button oh sorry come back to our button do the same on there so we're going to set the border radius to be zero so everything is now squared off and that's pretty much all done so we can just come in check everything is as we want it to be and we're good to go so let's just update that page so now that we've created the simple login form, we've configured everything bar where we actually wanted to redirect to afterwards, let's now jump over to our website and take a look at how we can put in that login link using some of OceanWP's simple short codes that allow us to get creative. Okay, so I'm back in the WordPress dashboard and what we need to do is jump into the customizer where we can start customizing the OceanWP theme. So let's just come down to appearance and choose customize. We'll let that load in and then we can go through and set up exactly where we want to place the link or links for the login section. Now, like I say, the beauty of this is the fact that it is a switch that's automatically created for you. So all you need to do is if you're logged in, it'll show a log out option. And if you're logged out, it'll show the login option. So it's very, very simple. What I'm going to do is we want to put it up to the right hand side of where it says my account. So to do that, we're going to simply come to the top bar section and we're going to choose the content tab. Now in there you can see we can choose a template or we can just input the actual content itself. You can also see we've got to see a list of all the short codes that are available to us. So if you want to see some of the other things you can do, I recommend clicking on that, checking out the short codes that are available. But we're going to keep it really simple and straightforward. I'm going to paste in the content and you can see what it does is it calls up the short code, which is the Ocean WP login custom. So it's saying it needs to use a custom URL to use this link. We then put in the link we want to use. So you can see at the moment it's showing the address and it says login. So what I need to do is just change that to the name of the page that we gave it, which is sign in. You can see that it got some other bits and pieces in there, but we don't need to worry about that. All we need to do is put the URL that we want to use for our custom login page. And that's all there is to it. We hit publish on there 
If we then just jump over to our site and refresh the page, you'll see that we've got log out because we're currently logged in. And if we log out, we'll get the login option. So what I'll do is I'll just pull up a different screen for you so you can take a look at that. Okay, so I pull up a browser now where I'm not logged in and you can see we've got the login option. So once we click on there, that'll now take us through to our new custom sign in page. So this is the page we've just created. Everything is set up and good to go except for where do we want to redirect the end user once they've clicked the sign in and put their details in. So let's just do that. Let's just jump back over to our site, come back into the dashboard and we'll just come back out of this. So we're going to close down. We finished all the editing we want to do inside the customizer and let's just come back into our pages in all pages and let's take a look at our sign in page. So all we need to do is just tell it where we want that to go after someone signed in. So we'll edit it with Elementor. Once we've done that, we're going to activate the login widget and then we can just set up that final little bit of information. So just click on there come down to additional options. So what's the link you want to use? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to copy the URL for the site that I'm currently developing this on as a test location. And then all we need to do is put in what page do you want to access? So you could, if you wanted to, just let them go to the home page, or you could create a custom page that says, thank you for logging in, that you then redirect, or you can send them to the accounts page, whatever you want to do. I'm going to leave this to be just the default, go back to the home page and click update. And once I've done that, we've now set everything up in here so we can easily allow the end user to simply click, add their details in there, log in, and then they'll be redirected to the home page, ready to start browsing our site, fully logged in. Like I say, how you want to sort of access that is entirely up to you and where you want to send them to is based upon your end user experience and what you're doing with your website. But that's all there is to it. So let's just test our new login page out. So let's put some of my details in. We click remember me if I want to remember me or we can just click on sign in to actually get signed in. If we've lost our password, we've got the option for lost password on there as well. So everything is set up the way we want. So let's click sign in. And you can see once we're signed in, we're now redirected to our homepage and it shows that we're signed in. We can click go to our account if we want to and all of our information is set up already done for us. And that's how easy it is to set up your own custom login pages, create custom login pages, and then use Ocean WP to create that link that allows us to show logged in and logged out links. Well, I hope you found the video useful. I hope it's shown you how you can take your WordPress websites and make them just a little more customized using Ocean WP and Elementor Pro. If you did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up, smash that subscribe button, hit the bell icon to be notified every time we add new content to the website. Got any comments, questions or feedback on this video or anything else you'd like to see covered on the channel, please pop those in the comments section below. And until next time, take care.